Morning cartoons. I'm Nick. We got Joe there. We got George. Mm. And joining us once again, one of our favorite guests, Jason Griffith, the uh well, a friend of ours, of course, but also a professional actor and uh has done a lot of voiceovers on cartoons. We always pick his brain about that. Welcome, Jason. Ahoy. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with my favorite people in the world. I love the long hair and the the um salt and pepper beard, by the way. That's a new change since we we've seen you last, I think. Yeah, not my choice for the the salt part. <laughs> really? Uh, oh, I'm like, okay. I, what's it's happening coloring. to my face? Like, why? Why did? Why did this part lose color? But this part, I it's know. right on. It's it's right. When, when we have you on the show next, is it gonna, is it like a glacier? Does it like? Is it gonna like kind of <laughs> eventually like? It will. How melt. does it work? Because uh, I it's be, not melt. because because me. I, I, I'm older than you. I know I'm older than you. But like, look at I don't. I hardly have any grays. Like, I should probably have some grays. It's isn't it parenting? It, isn't parenting it like exhausts the body? I think that's it. Yeah. And that's and gotta yeah, be it's it. Like when, it's like when you see a, a picture of Obama from uh, 2008 <laughs> as compared to 2016. It's exactly what it is. I, 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 totally. I just came home. I was I was at a session. I came home and I was home for like five minutes, and my stress went through the roof. Or like this, the fucking, or sorry, the freaking five minutes I was home because, uh, you know, the kids are demanding, man. They're they're demanding. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I have two orange cats, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. And, then, and I yeah. have one pug. He's on, asleep on my lap. So I get it. Yes. I get it. We've all got <laughs> yeah. kids in one form or another. Yeah. Um, yeah. Comparison. Yeah. So, George has power bars that he I have, like children. George no, I have my, dragon. my, my oh, dragon, dragon throne. I got to say, Jason, the uh, the beard, the long hair is working. It's it's almost Jason Momoa-esque. Maybe meets uh, Bob from Twin Peaks. Something, yeah, yeah. some sort of combo there, and it works on you. So I'll take it. I'll accept keep it that. up. And uh, yeah, thank you. Well, uh, we always talk about, uh, well, let's get into a commercial first, and this will give you a little hint about what cartoon we might be watching today. <laughs> Fun riding in your bowl, and you're gonna wanna come flying. Horses and hoops, balls and bears, elephants, nightmare. Huh? Horses, hoops, twins, balls, bears, elephants, the shining twins. Lions. New circus oh, hoops, cereal, crunchy red hoops, speckled balls, and many marshmallows. Seems like a parody. Circus fun, a spectacular balls. part of this complete breakfast. New circus fun. This seems too old. That stack of white bread is also part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> Wait, let's take a look. <laughs> you're saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Pure <laughs> white. <laughs> Not a single nutritional. Who's uh, ever made toast that mineral. way? Who's ever made toast that way? Look at the, look at the orange juice next to the milk on both what, of yeah, the. Yeah, what parent is like? Let what parent is like? Let's waste all of the orange juice and milk, <laughs> and then pour some in this. Look at how stacked that bowl is. Like, how oh. much cereal do you have to put in that? That's bowl? your this daily is, calories. Right. This is this is the the, the marketing that destroyed the American healthcare system. And yeah, as, like uh, I use half a tube of toothpaste on each, <laughs> yeah, each brush. That's why we're all doughy, right? I mean, well, that's yeah. uh, that's like we have at least three former pudgy kids on this uh, episode of Saturday, <laughs> and, and I think and a and a current pudgy kid. So <laughs> we just switched we just switched eras of pudginess, basically. But um, exactly, it's not our fault. It's not said, our fault. Is my dad always reminded me, Jason? More toothpaste, less shampoo. <laughs> that's good advice. That's great advice. <laughs> Hold on, uh, so I'm still thinking about that one. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, That's what I'll get on the way home. Okay, uh, all right. But yeah, that is a, a a harbinger of what's to come. We're watching the Little Clowns of Happy Town uh, ah. from uh, 1986 to 87, one season. People hated this cartoon. <laughs> we'll find out why. Critics, is, uh, children hated it. Everyone is pranky. Is pranky voiced by Leo Sayer? Uh, no, but Pranky uh, is voiced by uh, Charlie Adler, who's Buster Bunny on Tiny Toons. Uh, I don't know if you ever worked oh. with him, but 
a very prolific well, cartoon voice. Asked and answered. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking to the expert on Little Clowns of Happy Town, but I'm not an expert on mugs and cereals quite. So what's everybody drinking from or eating this morning? Okay, so I went to London over uh, over the New Year, and uh, I don't know if you heard, but the Queen had died, and so we stocked up on merchandise, and so we, uh, my wife and I, Albertina and I, we we got the mugs. So there it is, Queen. Wow. It's um, like yeah. The before and after. Respectful. What, what happens exactly. when you put hot liquid in that? Well, it's not hot liquid. Let's just like... say the sash comes off. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> it's a, it's one of those, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's one of those novelty ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the casket bad. rises up yeah. over her. I, I had to pay extra, but it's worth it. So yeah, yeah. we, yeah, we yeah. see the uh, the royal jewels. If you know what I'm saying, there. Mm. Uh, once those go off. Uh-huh. Um, George, what are you uh, drinking from today? Well, you said that we were watching a clown cartoon. I guess I didn't realize they were. It was. Uh... Little Clowns of Happy Town, because I got the uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space mug. Um, oh. Totally different clowns. Totally okay. different clowns. Well, I don't know. Maybe one's the prequel of the other. Who knows? I, I would say just throw that mug in the garbage right now. Just, yeah. All right. <laughs> Fill it with cotton candy <laughs> while that we're watching. new clowns. <laughs> yep. uh, Jason, what do you have? Uh, well, I'm glad I'm glad I, I chose this mug uh, for clowns in particular. This is a Christmas present from my wife. It says, uh, World's greatest farter uh, i mean father and then it's Ooh. a picture of me in front of a nice corned beef sandwich <laughs> wait, 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 wait 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 put, put that mean, back up i gotta pin this I, there it is okay i All like right. your smile what? that's you <laughs> that is me it mid fart uh are you are you farting in that he's image? farting out of his mouth in that picture i'm farting the the corned beef sandwich actually um my my wife uh, went through my camera roll uh, right before Christmas and and took uh, like eight pictures that I just goofy pictures I took for my own amusement and made mugs and uh, t shirts and tote bags out of them. So that was one of them. Wow. But but let me ask you a serious question: Are you the world's greatest farter? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll find out by the uh, end of the episode. Hey, <laughs> Worst greatest? I don't know. How do you how do you you know how do you tell? All I've got right, a well, pretty innocuous looking mug here. Nothing about farting. It's just first federal savings. But uh, the important part is what's on the back. It's the Norwegian flag. And this is from our hometown, Joe Stoughton, Wisconsin. Sure. This is the the, the uh, <laughs> bank on Main Street there. So found this at the St. Vincent thrift store near my parents' house. I think if you watch it wow. back, you will see that Joe had lost interest in the mug before you even turned it around. <laughs> That's why I addressed him by name. I got to do that occasionally. Just keep it's pretty. It's a pretty highfalutin uh, shaped mug for a for a credit union. I'm drinking gold out of this. I mean, I might have Golden to start field. banking there. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. And All today's right. episode is sponsored by First Federal Bank of uh, uh-huh. Stoughton, Wisconsin. Hmm. Do you know if they're FDI, FDIC insured? Do you know if they're? Uh, yep, says it right here in the mug. Okay, How about perfect. That? Okay, member FDIC, member FDIC. Jason, we're all up to five hundred dollars. Sorry, we're all wearing our pajamas, but what are you? What you were wearing a white? Sorry, it looks uncomfortable, but this I'm going to give you the full view here is an Elvis jumpsuit. Only goes down this far. I'm not wearing pants. Um, But this is this is a, a replica of the 1974 Mad Tiger jumpsuit that Elvis only wore a few times uh, in the fall of 1974, and never again which he was also wearing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the infamous Elvis drugs dialogue, where he tells the uh, crowd at the Hilton that he was not strung out on heroin and he's never been strung out on anything except for music. He was wearing this jumpsuit uh, during that. Oh, that's the one. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's now, a, that's now, an amazing replica. Holy Have shit. I that's awesome. in it? No. Will Can I we ask? It? Maybe. Are you strung out on anything right now? Uh, a vitamin C packet. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I I actually read this today is that is that the uh, Cincinnati Bengals that's going to be their new uniform this year that they, they're actually <laughs> going to wear that for all the games. If there was a be- team called the Cincinnati Bagels, I would be watching. <laughs> <laughs> We're off the rails already. We got we have a clown cartoon oh, to watch, sorry. gentlemen. So let's get uh, into a little clowns of Happy Town. Uh, I, this is about a 15 minutes of back uh, backdrop about the cartoon, and then we'll watch the cartoon. Okay. 
Um, no, I, there's very little to say about this. It's uh, it's a little. I feel like I feel like you made this up. No, I feel like this isn't actually a real cartoon. Yeah, you got Don Sparrow to draw that. Nope, (laughs) a real cartoon. Young clowns. They go to school in Happy Town, and their goal is to bring joy to a neighboring town. And they use the word clown like Smurfs use Smurfs. You know, let's let's clown over here, and that's very clowny. Um, the villain's name is Awful Be Bad. He's got two two henchmen. Um, but let's look at some of the voice cast here. Jason, you might be interested to know that uh, Big Top is played by Danny Cooksey. Everybody, anybody know who Danny Cooksey is? Sure, from the last seasons of uh, with Different Strokes. That's right. Here he is with wow. Arnold, uh, Gary wow. Coleman, Different Strokes, and he was also on Salute Your Shorts and a bunch of other uh, TV shows. Is usually like a, a late season I, cute kid. I would love to like rustle up his hair wouldn't you love to rustle up his hair like look how how fine it what is if you had and like his how... in one and it's cousin like oliver's silky... in another <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly like, he looks like cousin oliver from brady bunch exactly he is like basically maybe the, a slightly yeah. later era that's like a, a commercial for conditioner isn't that like you you like that's why you get con- that's why you put conditioner in your hair well we also have weiner he's one of the the henchmen anybody guess based on the character model whose voice this was it was a, a sitcom John actor Lewis. Good guess, good guess. This was uh, eighty six, so it was a little before Lovitz's. Pro- oh, who's, who's the guy from uh, City Slickers? Uh, Bruno Kirby. Bruno Kirby. Oh, okay, yeah. good guess. It's actually Horshack, Ron Palillo. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Carter. Yeah. Um, so uh, my, that my might... second guess was going to be uh, Richard Kind. Oh yeah, I could see that. Oh, young love, Richard love, Kind. I love... I love voicing striped shirt characters. <laughs> oh, God. So we got the pro on. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Badump Badump, uh, Badump Dump, and his uh, <laughs> elephant rover. And uh, this isn't really anybody notable, but we can just move on from this one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Frank Welker. Dot JPEG. <laughs> yep. He also Not does JPEG. the voice of uh, all the clownimals and a bunch of other people. So. Uh, I've... Big fan of Frank Welker. JPEG. Oh yeah, <laughs> love his work. I, I always yeah. like to make an appearance with the file name right there on the photo. <laughs> well, let's get into the first episode of the Little Clowns of Happy Town. Buckle up, everybody. This is a buckle upper. They're ready to be underwhelmed. There's two songs in every episode. But... How did they pitch this and how did they get through? Like, how did I think it was kind of like Smurfs? They're little creatures that spread joy. And... But nobody likes clowns. Yeah, nobody told them that. Apparently, literally, this was made by a focus group. Like, ABC brought in a focus group. One of the show showrunners or creators is like they completely whitewashed any personality out of this cartoon. Kind of looks like the Get Along Gang, the way they move. We now return wow. to the little Lots of sound of effects. Happy Town. Yeah, get ready for some. Took two people to write this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks like I don't know Scranton or something. This is I think that's of... the 405. I mean. yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's a LA of, all the way. Smog, a lot of pollution. Yeah. But in a shining city on the hill, it's Happy Town. Too many sound effects already. They didn't need the boing. I mean, clowns are known for horns, so... I guess so. <laughs> hey, but I'm bump! Do you know how to make an elephant float? You take a scoop of ice cream, some root beer, and one elephant. Get it? <laughs> Thanks, little brother. Your murder is thrown the lake. <laughs> and you too, Rover. Now you and Rover go to clown nursery school. <laughs> You're not big enough for regular clown school. Here, a little bit of I'll Walter see you later, that, right? alligator. Huh? It's very uh, Glomer, <laughs> Slimer. Oh, big top. I, I just love thing. coming to clown I mean, school, especially <laughs> on Walker's Thursday. probably the best paid Walter person Pickles. here, right? <laughs> and they gave him that. That one? Animals. Well, he does like we 10 voices. Like he fun. does the seal's voice. Oh, he does? Okay. He made scale. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, can you pause? 
Absolutely. <laughs> and now Jason. stop. And now press stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and stop. And now can we go home? <laughs> Not if you I've keep done cartoons it. like this. I've done <laughs> shit like this where you right. just like, why? Wh- who's watching this? Well, Who- that, that's what I was going to ask. It's like, so you get paid a flat fee to do as like Welker. He he did the seal. He did the yeah. whatever baby yeah. Baba and yeah. like, <laughs> but dump dump. But dump dump. So is that how it works with these cartoons? Is like they pay you a flat scale, and then you do every voice that they want I, you to do. I can't imagine this being union, but uh, <laughs> probably by the hour. You know, most uh, you know mo- most things are are by the hour, and uh, and yeah. I think you're allowed to do. You can you can charge a certain rate up to three voices. Like after three, you have mm. to pay more. Okay. All right. Most of what, what, it is, yeah. what do you think Welker? What what was his rate for this? What would you oh, guess? Oh God, nineteen eighty six per hour. Yeah, in eighty six. God, I hope he at least got a hundred bucks an hour for this. Oh <laughs> really? Hopefully. I mean, yeah, that doesn't sound like hopefully. a lot, but that's probably like four hundred and fifty dollars an hour now. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, remember they said that uh, that voiceover actor Doug Stone told us that they had. A, a limousine that was Welker's limousine that he would go between, he would just like get shuttled by the studios between sessions yeah. and he would just sleep in there and they would just be like, we need a honking, <laughs> we need a horn guy. We need like a, just like a tired prostitute or something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <Kinda> like, <laughs> or like a, or like a in Pink Floyd, the wall where they have to get ready and get him ready for the show by shooting him up right before he goes on, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> yeah. come on, we need a seals voice. We need a clown well, lion. <laughs> I've heard of of celebrities, uh, you know, more more recently, coming in for a five minute session and making uh, thirty thousand dollars, you know, flat okay. rate for like a video game or, um, mm. yeah, you know, like if you're if you're guest starring on Family Guy and you're a celeb, you're probably making you know a flat okay. rate in the in the five figures, you know. Jesus. Well, uh, Joe, and I just if we could not pause this too much, I really want to get through this cartoon. <laughs> okay. No further questions. <laughs> Check off the uh, banana peel. You set it up in uh, Act One. So Just gotta... <laughs> there, you kind of recognize the Buster Bunny. Banana cream pie. Oh. My favorite. Now, here's my favorite clown voice. It's the Ed Wynn impression, and this is uh, I forget his name is like pickled herring or something like that. The the professor. Is, is this the clown voice that you can do? Yeah. Is this your this okay, is, this, this is, is the one that you can do. Here, yeah. All right. Well I can't wait to hear it. We'll be pausing oh, it pretty my. soon. That was clown tastic. <laughs> you really like the Mr. Pickle Herring? <laughs> Absolute clown lootly. <laughs> I think clown voice I think of that. Wait big pause. That was- yeah. <laughs> will you, will you, uh... Well, we're going to have a game later where clown voices will come into play, so I okay. don't want to spoil anything. And are you going to do your clown voice of the... I could be persuaded at the, during the game, <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Can you just give us a little sneak peek? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the clown lootly! Something like that. All right. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Good. You made all week, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pickle Herring! Did they ever get their noses ripped off? Because I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Got your nose! The one in the class is a rotten egg. <laughs> Uh-oh. He'll have he, a can anybody tell me what's going day. on right now? Nope. Uh, well, they, got a, they got a warning that underprivileged children are getting um, gloomed by the villain. Uh, awful be bad. So Why would he go after them? Like what? He like, hates what joy. Could... He hates joy. Mm. Why do, why do they relatable. have joy? Why do they have joy? They're they're poor and they're like underprivileged, right? Mm, yeah, because but they it, know that it's more than money that makes happiness. It's is this a it, Christmas episode? No, but it's the same okay. message. Yeah. Right. Today, you rotten little brats, or my name isn't awful, be bad. Do you think so? I don't, I don't feel like going to school today. Me either. I don't even feel like moving. I'm never going back. No, oh, this takes Picture place in, in Palestine, Ohio. 
<laughs> than here where you grew up, Jason. No, it's, it's where that train, uh, right? It's the, oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, 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 I forgot yeah. that it was there, pal. I don't even feel like moving. I'm never going to You are from Ohio, though, right? Mm-hmm. Pets are important to clowns. Land of the potato chip. Because they make us laugh. <laughs> and when clowns laugh, we make other people laugh and feel good. At least most clowns do. He, he uh, unintentionally I makes people laugh when you crap down. That's his. Bloomer, that was the funniest report you've ever done. It was? You mean I was? His name's Blooper. Oh, yes. You were very funny, Blooper. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, but this isn't. We have a gloom alert. Gloom alert? Where? Tisk, tisk, awful big bear has been busy this morning. It looks like he's hit the baby buggy factory, the joke and magic shop. Oh, and worst of all, the East Side School. What channel was this on? ABC. ABC. I have friends there. One Let's... season, did you say? One season, 18 Whoa. episodes. We need first, Hiccup. Our friends at the East Side School need me. Hiccup. Did they have a uh, toy that they tied it in now. with? No, oh it was because, just, because they had a lot of superhero so right. cartoons and These they needed more like need plan right kids now. programming that was more Gee, what kind of plan fun and educational. Don't forget, what? you're a so clown. They shat this and one out. Must this is educational? Who is down. Yes, they yes. always had you lessons. Must find a way to ungloom the East Side kids. It will they be today's lessons. class assignment. So go on out there and do your clowny best. Okay, so they're going to do their clowny best. To oh. cheer up the East Side kids who are being gloomed by awful <laughs> B-Bad. Thoughts so rough. far? God. Terrible. I mean, it's like it's like when you stand next to a loud fan too long, and then when they finally <laughs> turn it off, you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> well, well, the second half is, is still kind of the second uh, half is still to come here, but uh, we're yeah. We're I mean, there, the there's there was a reason that I was trying I've seen to enough like... guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll... I'm gonna let you guys finish this one. Yeah, uh, your work here is done. Yeah, uh, no. What's well, gonna happen a... to the East Side kids? Come on, have a heart. Well, awful be bad is the best rap name I have ever heard. That's true. <laughs> it's and it is now mine. A B is a middle initial. Yeah. So yeah, I want to be B. Blooper. Saturday morning cartoons. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a quick commercial break to uh, break up the awfulness of Little Clowns of Happy Town. George, what do you have on on tap for us? Well, I guess since the theme of the show is clowns, I thought I might show some commercials about clowns. What? Why are there so many clown things out Ready, there? Ready, set, go! I have this game. They're playing Stuff Your Face. The funny, frantic, marble-grabbing game from Milton Bradley. Each player works a pair of puppet hands to grab up marbles and stuff them in his puppet's face. The action's fast and furious, and whoever stuffs the most marbles wins the game. Maybe real infant hands. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are extremely loud. That's Dude, what I'm taking I, away from that commercial. I was I, I did a commercial for a game called In Your Face, where, did we talk about this, where you'd spray, so. uh, it was like a thing, I'd ask you a question, I'd hold up the device, and I'd ask you a question, and if you didn't answer within time, it would like spray your face full of liquid. Hmm. Oh Damn, no! I, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't go anywhere. Oh, I would have liked to play that game. Oh, it seems man. like a binge eating game, sort of. Uh, <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos with clowns, I guess. Mm. I feel like your face. hungry, hungry hippos. They should be sued by stuff your face, right? I mean, it's close. It's yeah. close. Very close. From Milton Bradley. More... Some assembly required. The Sorry. more I stare at this game, the more I know that I had it as a kid. Yeah. I currently like, have a copy I remember, right now. I, I absolutely remember that face and that tongue and that open, <laughs> open mouth. And the box is pretty big, too. It's it's not like a normal board game box. Hmm. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm sure you played it every day. Yep. You can play it right after this. Yep. Kids love circuses like I love tricks. And in this disguise, I'll get some. Anybody want a clown around? <laughs> well, we're having a good nutritious breakfast with tricks. Tricks taste real fruity. I flip for fruit flavors. Want some? Tricks has the root taste I like. There's lemon, there's orange in every and bite. Real. Hey! Hey! Rabbit. Silly rabbit, it's just a kid. Kids don't clown around with tricks. What are you doing? What's that? 
I, I don't understand. Why did every commercial have the stack of bread and the milk and the orange juice? Like, why? They did, do, like don't they? Commercial for, I, I, I want to see a commercial yeah. with like a side of steamed broccoli, you know? Or, <laughs> yeah. I think the up. honest reason it was that there, um, there was a complaint by nutrition boards that if you just had sugary cereal, that wasn't a balanced breakfast. So <laughs> in order to represent that it shouldn't just be eaten on its own, you needed to have juice for fruit milk for protein and then bread for a carbohydrate and part so of a nutritious breakfast it was, a, it was like yeah a and half a stick of butter apparently yeah of course unmelted pats on, on each slice of toast the unmelted pats also a good indie rock band name oh i love those guys <laughs> so good i, I saw them open for awful people what are you doing to the jack-in-the-box clown He's going bye-bye, lady. But Clara he's Keller so ripoff. cute. Yeah. Cute was the old Jack in the Box restaurants. Now we stand for great new food. Like our new Chicken Supreme. Juicy all white meat chicken. Two kinds of cheese on a toasted whole wheat bun. The food is better at the box. The food is better at the box. Waste them. The food is better at the box. Jack in the Box. This is that how the the train started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that, that actually predates Clara Peller. So oh, I would probably okay. sue Clara Peller were she alive. Now, All right, Nick, so where's this is... the beef lady we're talking about, by the way? I don't think it, that she's a household name. To... <laughs> <laughs> this this, uh, this is a not exactly a duplicate of your commercial, but same product. It's a oh, yes. and you're gonna the music! There's a new marshmallow animal inside Circus Fun cereal. What is it? Does it roar? Yes! Is it my animation on this? Yes! Is it stripes? Yes! And it'll make Circus Fun an even more spectacular it's part of the complete ass. Where's the new In Circus Fun cereal! Cause now it's... Horses and hoops, balls and bears, elephants, lions and... What 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 was the one? Wait 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, well, we had such momentum this? going into this. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, I have to stop this. But like, what's the indubitably one? The uh, crispy, crispy critters. critters. That, yeah. That's what I kept thinking that circus fun was going to be was crispy critters. critters. You remember yeah, that one? The man. Jimmy Durante. No kid would know Jimmy Durante, but they still based a character out of it. No, but but the guy who wrote it knew who yes. Jimmy Durante was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, back it up. Sorry to sorry to slow this down. I uh, can't wait to watch this. Yeah. Wait, wait, what was the mystery shape though? <laughs> you, you know, I looked it up, and <laughs> yeah. I, and it was, um, I believe it was orange tigers. Ah, okay, uh, okay. by the books. Uh, sounds like all a right. disappointment. All right. Ice pick. So. I got some money down, so I'm going to see the credit clown, so I don't get declined. You so need relaxed. the credit clown. Let's go see the credit clown. So nervous. Here at Auto Yes, we understand that bad things happen to good people. Come to Auto Yes, where your cash is your credit. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not getting this approved. <laughs> I don't think so. You're too late. Here at Auto Yes, bankruptcy, divorce, self employed, it just don't matter. Call 275 3333 and ride today. There's some call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> get, him, call, get him on the line right now. Hi, right, Jason Griffith. Oh, I'm not a bad guy here. I hope you get an Auto Yes. <laughs> I hope you get an Auto Yes. Uh, auto yeah. Baby. Uh, I thought you were trying to take the role of the credit clown for as a as a future job. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, know. that was a ripoff Those of Homie things. the Clown, which is but it, also... but I feel like Homie the Clown had been like twenty years before yeah. that, right? Like yeah. I don't think so. And like hit him over the head, like yeah. I think they kind of missed the boat. What era is that? Like oh five? Is that what? Like yeah, it's in. Yeah, uh, sixteen by nine format. So somewhere I, I would say like oh three oh four, which I <laughs> is that the worst era of the planet? Oh three oh four. It was what, not good. Oh two oh three. Oh two oh three. Oh two oh three. Yeah, that one was pretty bad too. Yeah. <laughs> like what even happened then? Just bullshit. Like auto yes commercials happened. Around that. <laughs> A lot of new metal. Um, <laughs> one eight hundred collect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carrot Top was doing those, yeah. No, o two o three. I think we can just forget those two years. Yeah, I think that those let's erase them from our memories. <laughs> now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Well, are we ready for the second half? Uh, of Little House of Happy so Town. What the hell is do it? Let's just watch Credit Clown five times. It Sorry. keeps getting worse. We can't do it.
We got uh, five more minutes of little clowns. Wait, wait, can you catch us up to what's happening? Nick? They're just trying to save the East Siders <laughs> from being gloomed by awful be bad. That's it. This isn't the rocket in, science here. Is this Park Slope? Where are they? <laughs> yeah, they're in a pretty nice neighborhood, actually. These orphans. I don't know. Oh, oh no, think what that neighborhood costs it, now. <laughs> oh. And it, no, I don't want to confuse you. This isn't the Elvin and the Chipmunks pancake staircase. This is a uh, different staircase entirely. The, the, the dude in the green shirt on the stairs looks like Al, uh, a Theodore. He does. He looks like the human version he of Theodore. Is. Yeah. He is him, Theodore. But don't worry. I'm Hiccup. Uh, we're here to help. Hi, Hiccup. Hi, Big Top. Yeah, her I stick didn't get old. Jokes today. She hiccups every time she frowned. talks. Yeah. Hey, mm. Do you know why the pony had a short throat? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> you get it? Big Top, we're just too sad to laugh. I got dirty okay. jokes, too, if you want them. We've em. got a better idea anyway. <laughs> We're gonna put on a parade with our clownimals and all your pets Wrecked too. Him. He barely nice, touched him. But I don't think it'll help. It's hard to be sad when you're glad. And my hiccup, uh, I mean, our pet parade will make you real happy. Cause there's nothing so like a pet. <laughs> <laughs> it may be soft and furry. This really comes out of nowhere. A song about pets. It's indubitably. Indubitably. I mean, this seems like a Kyle Mooney Netflix show, doesn't it? <laughs> Parents should be ashamed of uh, placing their children in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> what are you watching? Let's put on Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> there's, there's no Let's way. Teach you how to read. We would have turned the channel so fast. <laughs> Your brothers would not. <laughs> I want to hear the, to watch. The, the projects that Welker their... turned down. <laughs> Did they lose their budget for the colorization in that? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Their colorist. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we have pause? Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Sure. <laughs> you masochist. Yeah, we'll has, hit pause. Let's make this last longer. Has there ever been a documentary done on Welker? Because I don't know who said it, but somebody said, "Is there something that Welker?" turned down yeah like, i'd love to see yeah you said that so like but i would love to ask him that question has there been a documentary done on frank welker hmm. like, there's a mini clearly... one on youtube um but no but not it, a full not but, a feature length but he's you know. not in it right no it's he one is of those things. oh he is yeah, he well, i want something unauthorized that gets the dirt on yeah. him because there's something yeah. weird going on yeah there's something <laughs> weird maybe a nick broomfield like takedown of welker or something. Yes. Yeah. or i want like a king of kong where he's like the billy mitchell you know what I mean? Oh, like he's the Billy young Mitchell of the voice artist. And Jason Griffiths is yeah. the is the young upstart who's trying to take all that. I'd love to start up the business with you, Mr. Welker. <laughs> uh, I do have to say, on a side note, though, I can't think of one thing more annoying than getting hiccups during a recording session. Mm. So, this Ooh. Poor woman, have you ever had that? Oh, dude, especially doing like creature voices when you have to really get you know the like. Uh, when you have to go guttural, man, uh -huh. it's so easy to just start hiccuping, and then you will hiccup the entire session, it, and there's nothing oh. that will stop. Is that how you get hiccups? I usually get hiccups from drinking too much. Like, <laughs> like you're well on your way to getting them now. It, any two, second two now. Things. Yeah, two things. It's either the creature voices or hot sauce. That's the only thing that makes me hiccup. <laughs> oh, either. hot sauce. Really? Okay. So this poor 90-year-old woman voicing this clown had to go through. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just, it just sounds horrible. It's, it's torture, horrible, horrible, right? horrible and so is yeah. this cartoon. But let's see if their pet parade solves their <laughs> their problem of being gloomed by. I'm gonna get my dog. Wait, wait to rope us back in, and uh, thank you. I've got a You're welcome. Let's go. And and this is that me? By mid afternoon. In an hour, okay? Yep, that was the four or five. having your pet parade now, oh, you heroin. brats. <laughs> <laughs> It'll burn off by 3 p.m. Uh, I hope that's all of them. <laughs> we got them all. I gotta say, I like Ron Palolo as a voice artist. <laughs> it's Takata. Very practical truck. <laughs> They're stealing the pets yep. so they can't have now a pet parade. Got them all. 
He's a bad guy? Yep. They're, the They're gonna open that truck up and it's just gonna be blood and bones. They took my dog and gone! <laughs> Somebody took my puppy! Where's my fluffy? What happened to my that is parrot? Big Bad's been up to his worst again. You have to do something. This is all your fault, Big Top. I want my dog! Okay, everybody, let's go get our pets back. And clown be bad. Everyone yell! <laughs> like the direction. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> At ten the whole time. <sighs> I mean, every hey, voice on, is obnoxious. Is that an unrolled condom? Yes, I just had. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was oh. coming out of that character's. <laughs> it's another <laughs> message. The character was saying. It's, it's another just... message about. <laughs> Wait, back it what up. Was what was he saying? <laughs> no. Chase is not me. What I said was coming out of one of the characters. Oh, 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 the character <laughs> stuck his head out. Is Welker that saying that? <laughs> like, oh my god. So good. <laughs> now, that would have been a good joke for Pranky to say, but no. Uh, uh, and 86 oh, parents wouldn't have minded. Those kids are so True. sad. Yes. Isn't it a lovely sight? This was a Wolf Murakami uh, animated Those show, though. so the animation is never stood a chance with the bad. deviously wicked The drawings kind of suck. Are you so smart, boys? And don't forget nasty too. <laughs> the Walker's making that speaking voice. What's uh... going on, the geek whiner? Where'd he go? I have a bad feeling. Geek and Weiner, played by the names. That was terrifying. <laughs> That's not I water. told you we could do it. Now let's parade <laughs> out of here. His unrolled condom fell off. <laughs> you can't leave me up here. Weiner, Geek, get me down! For all you do be bad, this pie's for you! Was that like this butts for you, do you think? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Get your parents' taste buds going. Mm -hmm. Little joke for the parents. Gee, I didn't think I'd ever see Sparky drunk. again, <laughs> but you guys never gave up. Being gloomy and giving up is what McBad wanted. But we don't give up because we're clowns. <laughs> you can have the clown. Yeah, that's the thing about clowns. They never give up. Like, what? I, I don't understand the logic Spirit, of no matter how the big lesson or here. small you are. You're so right, and being oh, happy and what's helping up with this others outfit? at any age is the cloudy thing to do. But Dump Bump, why don't you lead the pet parade? <laughs> Walker. Walker. Yeah, four hundred fifty dollars an hour. <laughs> That's little clowns of Happy Town. I cut out twenty, about twenty minutes from it. I want backstories on all those characters. It's part of the Marvel. Marvel? It's part of it's the Marvel, Marvel universe. Yeah, it's what? part There's of the Marvel Spider universe. Spider-Man, right there. Yeah. No way. That might yeah. be one of the worst we've ever seen. <gasps> I I think so too. That was what I was going for here. Um, this is like one of those videos that the dentist would sit you down in front of, and a, <laughs> a toothbrush would come up and start dancing around, and but with yeah, clowns. an educational yeah. one. I I didn't choose an episode that where they go to a, a camp where everybody's in wheelchairs and they're teaching them how to swim. And for some reason, reason even the 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 villain wants to uh, sabotage the wheelchair kids, and it's just yeah. Is it, is that for real? Yeah, that's, that's real. A, an actual episode. That's a real one. Yep. And the Thank parents don't think that the that kids one. can swim because they're in wheelchairs, but they can do anything can, that normal people can do. And can we watch that one next week? Yeah, next week. That's come like, on back, yeah. Jason. More little. Jason, what are you doing oh, next week? I'll be here. Oh, I'm <laughs> here for right. this. But That'd this really was all an excuse to play a game called <laughs> the Clown Voice Challenge. We got a voiceover artist here, and I think there's no one better to 
Uh, play you, and you you just want to show off your clown voice. No, That's what I'm, you want to do. You you, you want I'm to abstaining. pitch to Jason so that like Jason's like, hey, I know this guy who does this great clown voice. You yeah. should hire him. That you're trying to get a gig right this now. This is my backdoor way do. into getting a voice acting agent. Exactly. Um, That's um, what you're just doing. Just texting all the directors I know okay. right now. Uh, text them now. This, this guy type in their numbers <laughs> and then just get ready to hit call as soon as we're done. And the subject line is need a clown voice. Okay. And then yeah. No, honestly, this is just a showcase for Jason. I'm not going to participate. I'm just going to show Jason a clown, and he has to do the voice for the clown. Okay? And these are all clowns that people who watch our show should recognize. I love making a guest do do the thing. Yep. (laughs) Do your thing, guest. All right, be your little grinder monkey, Jason, as we play the clown voice challenge. First of all, we have a clown here. I'm just going to give you that this clown's name is Blueberry. Jason, what's oh. the voice of Blueberry the Clown? Well, he talks like this, and he says, I've got a bag full of tricks for you, and I'm also by this conveniently by this bush, so I can just jump in and run away. <laughs> okay, it's almost a Paul Lind. That's, you got it right? <laughs> but it's much, more, it's much more smooth. Smooth, you're right, yeah. But let's listen to uh, what he actually sounds like. Jason, your clown voice is a lot better than Blueberry's actual voice and catchphrase. Golly wishes and hi everybody. How are you today? My name's Blueberry the Clown. Okay, that was a Blueberry. Jason, you're one for one. Now we have a clown here. <laughs> this is Mickey the Clown, uh, who's known um, in our circles for a little song called Skateboard Surfing. So, what's the voice of this clown? Well, look at that. That's the scariest. That's Skeletor, basically, <laughs> isn't it? That's Skeletor with like Sucking a red. Eyes. Yeah. The lighting is not. It, it to his benefit yes. or anyone's really no but the hey, eye man, makeup even even when i'm not smiling man i'm smiling <laughs> and this this summer i'm setting up microphones for neil young man get on board man <laughs> that's surprisingly accurate it's the roadie clown basically and uh his voice is very gravelly let's take a listen to his actual voice mickey the clown from san francisco here we go Skateboard surfing. Oh, skateboard surfing. Tell your ma, tell your pa, skateboard surfing's not against the law. Okay. He's on a skateboard right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we got Clocker the Clown. What's the voice of this Drew Carey? Two for two. You're, yeah, you're betting a thousand. Yeah, yeah. So far, just, so good. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's more of the, he's a Richard Kind voice because everything is in the jaw right here. So everything he's gonna talk about things very emphatically. Like sometimes you go down to the restaurant, they, they sit you down in front of five gallons of ice cream, and they just pour on more sprinkles, and you can't stand it. Yes, oh, I, could listen, I could listen to that all day long. <laughs> and oh. uh, you actually gave the first voice because Clocker the Clown has no voice at all. He just dances in the back of a song called TikTok. So there we go. Before TikTok. I've learned to tell the time and I'm just fine. We should probably put this on TikTok, right? <laughs> I just post it every time we have to spring forward or fall back. Okay, that was Clock of the Clown. Smile. Now the Wait, next can I ask you question. Yeah. Why why is the dog whispering his song? Uh he's very raspy. He kinda has a uh, Bruce Springsteen sort of rap. I, I, I always say that I always say that Clock of the Clown looks like Drew Carey, doesn't he? Yeah. I was going to say like Julia Sweeney, a young Julia uh, Sweeney. I could see that, sure. Yeah, with an underbite, but yeah, the, I think the the uh, the the jaw like voice was was perfect. This one, we're going to watch a video clip first, and then you tell me the voice of the uh, clown that doesn't speak. Okay. I've always had excellent taste, so um, I've always enjoyed working with colors and and prints and. Just everything that to get paid for it. Jason, what's the voice of this ceramic clown that the busty lingerie lady is painting? (laughs) I'm really enjoying this stick in my mouth. (laughs) You know, later on, if you're not doing anything, maybe you can show me what you got under that visier. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, a little golem like. I I hear a little little, golem in there. He's a total oh, creep, damn. which, yeah. Dude, would you paint me some eyeballs for Christ's sake? 
<laughs> yes, that is the voice of the ceramic clown without eyes that the busty lingerie lady is painting. Four for four. Let's see. This might be the wow. last one. Oh, no. This is the second to last one. This is my mom dressed as Raggedy oh, Ann and me looking <laughs> horrified. <laughs> so what? Uh, what's the voice of my mom clown here? Well, just a normal, regular, sane mother. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Nick, Ugh. do your homework now, even though you're two in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Nick, that's why right. Why are you terrified? Why are you terrified, Nick? This is fun. Nick, this is. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna. Yep. Go. Nope, that's right. Was your mom's. She's sixteen. God, she looks so young. Yeah, she does. But you know, the rosy cheeks, I think, are deceiving. I think those were not her actual uh, cheeks. But um, this was her yeah. auditioning for Clocker, right? This. Uh, <laughs> yes. Nick, are you trying to tear up right yeah. now? I feel like you just like heard your mom's voice through it Jason. Is. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like you're trying to Don't tear up right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Making me okay. homesick. <laughs> all right. I miss you, mom. <laughs> um, all right, and finally, the final clown. This is a painting that Skip Elsheimer from AV Geeks has hanging in his home that we've been envious of and trying to steal during our annual intercontinental toe-tapping tournaments. So far, we have not won it back, but we're not giving up. So we're not talking about the clown with the pie in the upper right corner. Um, although for extra credit, you can do his voice. We were talking mm. about the turkey leg eating Thanksgiving clown. Well, I think everything is in the mouth shape and the terrifying teeth. And I think <laughs> everything is in here. And there's a lot of nasalness going on. But the mouth is always, I'm always eating meat. And I'll only eat meat. And every time I eat, something has to die. <laughs> yeah, happy Pilgrim Day, you know. Oh, you're I, the, I, I, I wore this on the Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> Can we inter have him interacting with his little um, sidekick there? Maybe, oh, maybe sure. a, just one back and forth. Oh, that better be a meat pie. I'm sorry, sir, it's not. You'll go, you'll go back on the Mayflower tonight. <laughs> this is, let's make the cartoon. The, thanks, the little Thanksgiving clowns oh, in Happy Town. It's our ticket out of the cell hole. Oh, my we'll God. Finally, we'll finally make it out. Yes. I, I should say Skip, uh, that's slightly incorrect. Skip uh, had this interpretation of what his painting sounds like. And this is what I think a clown sounds like. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> so Skip had his own version, but oh, Jason, you good. won, and that's how you play the clown voice challenge. <laughs> oh, Skip's awesome. That's... All right, yeah, you can tell. You can tell Skip gets into it because he just his whole body gets into it. You know, that's that's uh, that's a sign of a good, uh, the good, good day he, the clown. Voice. He had the crazy eyes, the crazy mm -hmm. clown eyes. Yeah, yeah. I could see it in your performances too, Jason. Um, Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, we always learn a great deal um when you're on the show um but uh, george did you learn anything else oh i definitely did covered in makeup wearing absurd ill-fitting clothes honking horns no i'm not talking about friday nights in my polycule instead i speak of clowns as john wayne gacy said clowns can get away with murder and sure some of them do but most of them are eventually caught and returned to their evil home dimension Instead, the vast majority of clowns are here to soothe, to entertain, to teach, and it's tragic to know that so many people are frightened or repulsed by them. But just think, where would the oversized tie or giant shoe industry be without clowns? Who would tiny car makers sell their products to? And while mathematician and physicist Daniel Bernoulli developed the principles of fluid dynamics in 1738, have fluid dynamics ever been demonstrated more succinctly than with a squirting flower by the humble clown? And so let us remember, clowns are here to help us, most of them. And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. Mm. It's a very clowny lesson today, George, and I appreciate it. Honk. Okay, no, there, there, there That's it what is. we needed. We needed some Ooh. sort of horn or something. We needed yeah. some sort of dingling honka, sound honka. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You're right. Uh, Jason, Joe was starting to tear up during that lesson. Yeah, so. I could tell. Uh, I could tell. Yeah, wow. Yep. It, well, it hit close to home. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, Joe's about to get I want to say this, but yeah? I, I just want to say, Ellen Cleghorn. 
Okay. That's oh, a- that's a good Don Pardo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I enjoyed that. Benny Dillon. <laughs> I wonder if showing off on season seven. Voices, you know. Yeah. I wonder if Pardo did any clown voices ever. He had to do some voiceovers. Well, what would he, he sound to... like as a clown, do you think? <laughs> Don't be terrified of me. Okay, Chevy Chase. <laughs> you Benny always cook deliver... me. <laughs> you always uh, deliver with the, with the requests. It's amazing. Uh, I, I know. Yeah. It's a superhuman yeah. skill. We love having you on. And yeah. uh, I can't, yeah. I'd, I'd love it too. I still um, think about the the uh, the the comic book episode, uh, right? Where all he, the, the oh yeah, yeah. Timothy Chalamet, the Rambo, mysteries, yeah, Marty. Well, when we're we, gonna. You did, yeah, when do we do another one of those? You did all the heavy lifting on that one. Yeah. I, well, we don't have another comic, so uh, I, we're I looking. I tell to... you, I I don't know if I told you this part. I I sat in the parking lot at Sony after a gig reading that whole uh, comic book and assigning voices before <laughs> I drove home uh, to do it. <laughs> I thought I'm all right. I'm not. I'm you're not such... getting into rush hour traffic. Thinking about that. I'm going to do it right now. And I, you know, that you're was, such that a professional. Fun, yes. 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 That was more homework than we've ever done for one of our shows. So thank yeah. you. I, <laughs> no, now, I don't know if you guys are allowed to talk about this, but uh, are you allowed to talk about the Chop and Steel movie? Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, well, maybe. I can't wait to see it. I'm I'm so excited to to see it. I I was showing Melissa. I'm like, look at this star studded cast in this movie. I um, mean. You got Joe Pickett. You got uh, who else is in there? Nick. Reggie Watts I mean, is in there. Nixon, oh yeah, Nixon yeah. there. Nixon Another there. Uh, you got a cameo. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't wait. It's, it's, Howie it's, Mandel. Just, I can't wait for it. Well, yeah. we got a couple shows in the LA, so we'll see you there, and yep. uh, and maybe we'll make you do more voices. Oh, <laughs> if, if only. You'll be out. You'll be out in a limo between gigs and joining us there. Well, we uh, we are excited to see uh, see you again. We'll uh, have you back on another Saturday, and I think in er- in everybody's best clown voice, let's wish everybody a happy Saturday. Uh, are we ready? Yep. One, two, three. Happy, happy Saturday, Saturday. everybody! <laughs> <I like that. laughs>